Welcome to today's lesson. You will need your notebook for notes and a pen or a pencil. Please gather those materials now. Okay, so today we're going to talk about letters on both sides. And an equation with letters on both sides looks like this. So I've got 7y plus 5 equals 2y plus 10. Now, there is actually four different ways that I can go about solving this problem. I can look at my 7y here, and I can subtract 7y from both sides. I can look at this 2y here, and I can subtract 2y from both sides. I can look at this 5, and I can subtract 5 from both sides. Or I can look at this 10 and subtract 10 from both sides. Four different ways to do it. But I always like to do my variables first because I can usually avoid dealing with negative numbers by that. Now this one, I have a 7y and a 2y. Just like with a number, in order to get rid of it, you have to add or subtract its opposite. Well, not add or subtract its opposite. You have to do its opposite. So in this particular problem, do I want to subtract 7y from both sides or 2y from both sides? I want to do 2y because it'll avoid my negatives. So I'm going to subtract 2y from both sides. Now I still combine what's 7y minus 2y, 5, bring down the plus 5, and bring down the equals 10. And now I have a two-step equation. I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides, 5y equals 5, divide both sides by 5, y equals 1. Let's try another. Example 2. This one's a little different. I have a 5 minus 2y equals 3y minus 5. So I want to do my variables first. I can, sub I can add 2y or subtract 3y. What do you want to do first? I want to add 2y. The reason being is I can avoid negatives. So I'm going to combine my like terms. The 2y and the minus 2y, they cancel each other out. So I've got 5 equals. 5y minus 5. So now I need to get rid of the minus 5, so I add 5 to both sides. 10 equals 5y. Divide both sides by 5. 2 equals y. Make sure you copy this down. All right. For this one, I want you to write it down and try and solve it and then watch me go over it. So go ahead and hit pause and work it out. Okay, so remember there was four different ways you could have solved this one. I'm gonna do my variables first. Now, does it matter which way you do it? No, as long as you start in the same place and you end in the same place, it doesn't matter how you get there as long as you show your work. I'm gonna add eight X to both sides. It's gonna give me 15 X minus 45 equals 15. I'm going to add 45 to both sides, 15x equals 60, divide both sides by 15, and x equals 4. How'd you do on that one? All right, let's try another. Hit pause and work it out. I'm going to add 4x to both sides, 10x minus 8 equals 16. I'm going to add 8 to both sides. 10x equals 24. Now this one I'm going to divide both sides by 10, but this is different. Why? Because 24 over 10, 10 doesn't go into 24 evenly. So I'm going to leave it as a fraction and reduce it, which gives me 12 over 5. All right, last example. Different problem. I want to see how you do it. Write this down in your notes, solve it, and we'll go over it in class tomorrow. Don't forget to do your quiz, five questions next. Have a nice evening.